today I wanted to discuss with you the differences between the five string banjo and the four string. What are the strengths of each instrument and what are they uniquely suited to playing? So I want to discuss first the most important difference and that is that the string tension on the five string banjo is significantly lower than the four string. Having low string tension allows for faster playing on your picking hand and it allows for more embellishments from the fretting hands for your hammer-ons. Especially for your pull-offs when you can pluck the string as you pull off. Having the lower tension means there's also less sustain and that makes for fast finger picking that is bright and clear. There's going to be less clashing of the notes because of that lower tension when it comes to finger picking. That also has to do with the less sustain and the strong attack of the banjo. Because there's less sustain, you get nice clear distinctions. Now I play uh, generally without finger picks because I like that softer sound and I like to dig into the strings a bit. But sometimes I'll play with finger picks if there's a significant uh, number of other musicians I'm playing with. Now, with the four string banjo, we have, in comparison to the five string banjo, each string has relatively higher tension. This allows for more expressive playing with, say, for example, um, vibrato. <laughs> Also means that you get a bit more out of sliding as well. Uh, each single note has stronger presence and you'll find that's very useful if you're playing with other musicians, especially if there's more than four or five. It's just having strong presence on your note, nice um, um, clarity without having to hit the string pretty hard. It's something that the four string really excels in, uh, in comparison to the five. So I'll just play a little bit of the four and you can get uh, a feeling for it in comparison to the five. So, I'll discuss the individual aspects of these instruments and what makes them unique um, in comparison to each other. So, when it comes to strumming, the lower string tension on the five string means that chords are quite muddy and they'll eventually be very harsh with fast strumming as you'll have uh, the vibrations of, of all the different parts of the instrument will clash. That isn't to say that you can't strum the five string, you certainly can. But when you need to chord bash if the music calls for it, if you're keeping up that sort of rhythm, uh, the five string banjo is ill suited to that, and that has to do with the low tension of the instrument. Um, you have your G, you know, if you play G. But then if you need to really chord bash. going on and it is it's 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 quite muddy um, there's there's so much going on there that it's it's quite harsh to the ear and of course you can say well it is making a sound you can play it that way but it's not really suited to that having the four string banjo with higher tension generally means that your chords will be more clear um, you have uh, less sort of this um, loose open vibration which uh, is suited towards strumming so he at the
the end of all of that, as you play that uh, final chord and you let that sustain uh, ring out, it's still clear and it's not muddy and there isn't a whole lot of conflict in there. Also, uh, quite a fair bit of that has to do with having only four strings as opposed to five. There are less vibrations going on there. The banjo head can only handle so much. You're going to have wolf tones on the other on the um, uh, other side of the bridge as well. So it's important if you have something like dampeners. Um, I usually like to put some felt. Lately, I've been going back and retrofitting my banjos and just fitting some black felt underneath that tensioner there for the strings to help cut down on those wolf tones. Now, when it comes to picking, so not finger picking, but flat picking. So the five string isn't necessarily suited towards flat picking, um, though you can flat pick if you want, and that's fine. But I'm, I'm not a strong flat picker. flat picking, when you use techniques like tremolo or you uh, have triplets and you have your like 16ths and, and 32nd notes, those are generally going to be quite difficult on the five string banjo and that's because again the softer or the, the lower tension means that you're going to have to be pretty delicate uh, and pay special attention on the string. So uh, it kind of takes your attention away. It takes more of your attention to really baby those strings as you're playing them. So. bit of effort to stop them from rattling. There's also a squeakiness as well that's a little unpleasant. So that sort of playing is not suited towards the five string as again it's those strings are lower tension. They're meant to be played um, with high dexterity without a you know a huge amount of force uh, applied to the strings. And that is where the four string uh, has its strengths as it is suited to more flat picking. It's uh, suited towards a tremolo. Uh, and if you're playing your faster notes, your 16th, your 32nd notes, um, those tend to be more clear and you don't have to baby the strings, you can just play them um, because the strings can handle that. It's great for playing melodies and, and um, um, just a different style of playing entirely. So uh, when it comes to the timbre of these particular instruments, the five string is bright, it, it has so much clarity, uh, and it's very easy to hear it among other instruments, especially if you are using finger picks. So I'll go ahead and slap on some uh, metal picks onto my uh, hand sausages here, and then we'll just get um, uh, a brief sound of that. Uh, and that is what is great, especially if you're playing outside and it's all acoustic, and especially if people are um, chord bashing on their dreadnoughts, it's great to have a banjo that it's easy to keep up with uh, other instruments.
So it's great. It stands it on its own. It's fantastic for playing those breaks and really giving some shininess and brightness to uh, an ensemble. When it comes to the four string, uh, it's not it's not bright. It's very warm actually. So while the banjo, the five string banjo, is great at standing out, uh, it can play your uh, breaks and you know it's, it's fantastic at playing those just wonderful instrumentals the four string is warm and instead of standing out it's better at supporting other instruments but it does have its uh, enough clarity enough clarity to play a strong lead you know <laughs> Sort of, um, sort of arpeggio your way through some chords. You can strum and it's a great way to support other instruments. Fill in that chordic sound, um, and it's it's just fantastic in playing with other instruments. So it's easy. You don't really have to put much effort into uh, playing along with other instruments. Which brings me to my next section: playing in an ensemble. So, the five-string banjo takes effort. It takes active effort and a very strong awareness of sound to blend with other players. When you're playing with other musicians, uh, especially if you're in an environment where everyone in their own mind is, is some sort of uh, rock stars, they're going to be playing hard, they're going to be playing loud, uh, and then you'll find environments where people have been playing together for years, and they do a decent job of blending with each other. Um, often you'll find in those groups that people get a little upset if a, a five string shows up because five strings are so loud. And um, many times I've been in situations where players who play the five string are, are pretty good at it, but they lack s uh, awareness of sound. They're just lacking that. And so all they hear is their banjo and they're just playing as hard as fast as they can and they're not blending with everyone else and it really upsets the apple cart because now people are, are sort of not playing as well and all you can hear is the banjo standing out amongst everyone. So. I've been in situations where uh, much more experienced banjo players have good awareness of sound and they can hear not just what their banjo is doing, but they can hear what the other musicians are doing. And that is because they are exerting active effort um, and practicing good awareness so that they can blend, playing a bit softer, you know, and playing a bit farther away from the bridge. When you're wearing picks, even if you play with picks a little farther from the bridge, you can play a bit softer. But that's generally why I use uh, no finger picks, I just use my fingers. Is it, I have a bit more control over blending with other uh, musicians. But that does take a fair amount of effort. And if you're somewhere where people are, are having a few drinks and you're becoming more relaxed, you're going to be paying less attention to how you're playing your music and you're going to be paying less attention to blending. And at that point, you know, things can, can sound a bit raucous. Whereas with the four string, it really blends very well with other instruments. And that is because it is so warm and it lacks that cutting brightness that the five string has. So you'd have to really, you'd have to punch real hard and play real close to the bridge. have the dexterity and the cutting brightness of the five string. The five string gives you that dexterity that the four string will never have in terms of the finger picking. Now in terms of, say for example, uh, as an accompaniment instrument, both are great as accompany me, accompaniment instruments, but the five string will let you play melodies uh, and chords alone. So because you have that open G, which is just a blessing, it's just so fantastic, obviously it's going to be suited towards old-timey music and uh, traditional folk music, but also bluegrass and what have you and uh, country, but um, say for example you can do... Um,
That's high dexterity. The five-string banjo was absolutely built for high dexterity, and that is something that this, you cannot do that on the fourth string. <laughs> That's, you can't play an open G and then, and then play, you know, your whatever melody is going on there. That's not what the instrument was designed for. So there are strengths to each particular instrument. Now, when it comes to the difficulty of learning, the five string is actually probably going to be pretty difficult, especially if you already have experience playing guitar. What I find from my uh, years of experience is that guitarists who have experience, you know, with years playing guitar generally will try to learn the banjo and then give up because the banjo uh, is so different uh, and generally you, you have a lot of um, muscle memory and there's a lot of like m uh, m uh, mental theory that goes into playing guitar and the banjo is so different from that that it actually stops people from being able to learn and play the banjo. Um, so. If you are a guitarist going into the banjo, my advice would be just forget everything you know about playing the guitar and just <laughs> start from scratch. So generally the banjo is quite difficult to play because it uses a tuning that other instruments uh, don't use. So you can't really uh, translate skills. The four string is actually very easy to learn uh, if you've played an instrument in the violin or mandolin family because it is played in fifths. Um, I, uh, learned the violin and mandolin at the same time and that allowed me to pick this up quite quickly so when it comes to learning this is going to be significant significantly easier to learn so each of these instruments has um, strengths and weaknesses but even if an instrument has a weak weakness especially what I've uh, listed here in this video you can brute force your way through that and you can play these instruments any way you like you know at the end of the day uh, don't let other people tell you how to play and enjoy your music unless you play in an orchestra. Then by all means, please uh, do what the conductor is telling you to do. So, I am a composer by day and a, I'm a cowboy luthier by night. And my job includes seeking out and understanding the unique qualities of each instrument and how I can use them in compositions and recordings. But, I'm also a random dude on the internet and you don't even know who I actually am. I could be a hot 22-year-old female model in Canada. You wouldn't even know, so don't take my word for it. The point is, don't necessarily trust me. I'm just sharing my personal experiences with you. Explore music in your own way and enjoy that music and find people you can share it with. So, thank you for listening. Uh, I appreciate you watching the video, especially if you're here through to the very end. So, take care of yourself, be well, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you again soon. Uh, come home again soon. See ya.